guys, welcome to my channel. How many people have missed that? Oh, wait. No, I'm just kidding. So, um, here's the deal. I know, like, my setup is kind of weird because today's video is a little bit different. Um, I wanted to tell you that if you are not subscribed to my channel, you see that little button down there that says subscribe, that little, that little box you can click. Um, and if you're not subscribed and you love inconsistent, um, YouTube posters and you love inconsistent YouTubers and YouTubers who occasionally do makeup or vlogs or product reviews, then you definitely want to hit subscribe because uh, that's what you get at this channel. Ooh, life has been anything and everything except normal. Um, I am not at a place right now where I can really talk or want to talk about what is going on. But um, when it is time and I am able to, then that's what we'll do. Um, I feel like I owe you guys that since you are a big chunk of my life. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into this video. Um, just to point out, occasionally through the video, I will be sipping my um, protein and coffee because I need it. I need it. It's, it's Death Wish coffee and my Premier Protein Shake, and I just drink two of these a day. If you watched not the last vlog, the one before, you'll know exactly how I make these. been here on YouTube a little bit has changed um my hair being one of them so today we are going to style short hair I'm going to show you um a look that I love how I've been loving to style my short hair and I'm going to be trying out the Brilliant New York Diamond Iron it is a 1.25 inch hair straightener. I was sent this faux free. Um, so we're going to review it here together today. Okay. Um, I will link this straightener below where you can get it. You can find it on Amazon. I do think that it retails for $100. And I am obsessed with the color of this. And the brand is Brilliance New York. I don't know if I said that or not. Anyway, we're going to whip this sucker out together for the first time. And I realized I'm going to be fixing my hair. And I have a tank top on. So since I started losing weight, my arms are a little jiggly. So I apologize <laughs> that you guys have to see that. I will try to edit it out as much as I can, but jiggly arms are jiggly arms, and I really don't know how much in the frame I am right now anyway, so yikes. I guess I didn't think that through before wearing a tank top and styling my hair. All right, so I'm just taking these little twisty thingamabobs off, whatever these are called, ties. Not zip ties. I was going to call them zip ties. They're not zip ties. All right, let's plug this beauty in. All right, so I do have a heat protectant in my hair, which is super important because before I cut my hair short, um, quite a few months prior to that, I did burn my hair off with um, hair straightener. So, or curling iron, not a hair straightener. So I do have a heat protectant already in my hair. Um, the heat protectant that I am using is the Monet. Um heat protectant. So that's what we're going with. Also, I do have like day old hair, two day old hair. I didn't wash it yesterday. I washed it. I did wash it yesterday. Just kidding. So I washed it yesterday. Um, I always feel like my hair does better when it's dirty, like two or three days dirty. But anyway, um, so it is, I did wash it yesterday. So it is a little bit dirty. Um, I forgot to say I put purple back in. If you are an OG subscriber, you know my obsession with purple hair. So it's back. So I'm just going to take my wet brush and just kind of brush through my hair first. I have a nice little undercut going on that I am currently 
obsessed with. I don't know if she's subscribed to my YouTube, but shout out to Trina who cuts my hair because she's the bomb. All right, so what I'm gonna do since we're gonna straighten all of this is I am just going to part this a little bit up here and just use these little clips that I am pretty sure I purchased at Sally's. We're just gonna section this off. I'm sure you can see my arm flab. All right, so we're just sectioning that. Um, even though my hair isn't long, it is thick in the back. So we're just sectioning that off so that we can get all of the pieces. Okay, so you can adjust the temperature. Let's crank this sucker up. And it does go to 450. All right, so I'm not gonna put it at 450. I'm literally gonna put it at like 320. Your suggestion is brush your hair thoroughly, making sure there are no knots or tangles, starting at the ear line, section your hair using your fingers or a comb and clip the top section up. We're on the same page, me and Brilliance New York straightener. And then it says, start as close to your roots as, as safely as possible. Place the two, oh, place the two combined two inches section of hair in the center plates of your Brilliance New York Diamond Iron. Close the styler with a nice grip. All right. So obviously we know this. You can do curls. You can flip your hair up. You can make waves, it says. Add body and volume. Today, we're just gonna be doing a cute little, little thing. Um, it does come with a warranty that you have to activate uh, 14 days after purchasing. All right, so I'm just gonna start with my top layer of hair here. one piece back here I'm pretty sure it's from where I had it clipped up earlier that's not wanting to go down it's just sticking straight up there it goes all right so once it's all straightened out and the straightener did nice I have another piece here that I missed all right so the straightener did nice Here's what I'm gonna do. I like to take a comb like this. This is a back combing. Oh, this is a back combing comb. And I typically wear my hair to the left, but for whatever reason, it's been looking bomb on the right. So I'm gonna take this top layer of hair here and I am going to just back comb this. And we're gonna have something like this. And then I'm just gonna do that across here. If ever I didn't look great, I'm making up for it right now. All right, and then this is the Big Sexy Hair um, Powder Play. This is my favorite thing. I even use this when I have longer hair. So I'm gonna just take some of this up here at the root. And then I just kind of take my fingers and rub it around and it just gives us more volume. And then I kind of just take my fingers and adjust the hair how I want it. Now you can take the comb if you want or the brush and just kind of lay it down. Um, also, if you don't have this comb, 
the wet brush this is the wet brush that i use it is also good for back combing let me see if i can And then I'll just kind of take this and then just push it up with my fingers. And then just kind of work it around, but this is just what I like to do. And then if you want to, you can take a bobby pin and pin these sides right here, which sometimes I like to do that. I don't think I'm gonna do that today. And then you can finish it off with some hairspray if you won't. I'm not gonna use hairspray right now because I don't have it sitting right here. It's way over there. So yeah. Anyway, this is it. I feel like the straightener works well. Um, my hair is straight. I do want to do a tutorial using the straightener to straighten my daughter's hair because if it can cut through that, then um, I know for sure it's a winner. I have a really straight hair anyway, um, just some kinks in it from having it pinned up. But um, overall, I mean, it, it works good. I love the color of it. So I will link this below and the um, powder play uh, volumizing powder. <clears throat> volumizing powder and then the wet brushes if you guys are interested in picking one of those up i want to apologize again that it's been so long since i got a tutorial up i do love you guys and i miss you guys and i am trying very hard to get back into the swing of things so just keep my family in your prayers that's all i want to say for now and uh hit subscribe follow me on my other social social media accounts which are linked below in the description box and uh, I will see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, I forgot. It's been so long I forgot. Be nice to one another. Stay beautiful. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye. I feel like this needs to warm more still. Maybe not. Definitely smells like a new microchip temperature control. Okay, I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. I do not think we need to cook my hair at 450.